Right, welcome to North Forby Fan TV, post-match against Glasshouten. Yeah. Take it over to you. So we won 2-1, which is good, obviously. I thought we were a bit sloppy today, like, um, I don't know, I just thought with the first half we weren't playing very well, we weren't talking to each other, we weren't calling, uh, but we did we did score a goal, so that was good. We went into the half-time, half 1-0 up, confident for the second half. Start of the second half, there was an offside decision that wasn't offside and they scored a goal 1-1. One, one. For most of the game, it got dirtier and dirtier. There was a red card for us, which I personally don't think was a red card. I think it was a bad yellow. But then again, uh, but um, late on in the game, 2-1, uh, 88th minute, won us the game. I thought we played very well, especially the last 10 minutes. Obviously, hats off to uh, both of our goal scorers, but hats off to Joe Dale for scoring the first goal for us today. Uh, also, one more thing. Uh, East Hall lost 10 nil today, which officially means that I have more bollocks than East Hall have points this season. <laughs> they have one point, and it is February the 8th. <laughs> oh, some women have more bollocks than East Hall have got points. <laughs> I don't know, actually, that's quite weird. I don't think about it. Well, not, not weird, it's not the right word. <laughs> so, so, right. So, you don't think it was offside? I think it. To be fair to the linesman, it's a very tough call. There were a lot of players blocking his view, but from what I could see, it wasn't that offside now. I didn't get a very good view of it, I must say. Um, the video that I took doesn't isn't a very good view of it either. Wait, so wait, I, no, sorry, did I say not offside? I meant offside. You meant it was offside. I didn't, well, no matter what, I didn't get a very good view of it. The video, I didn't get on a few of it. You can all follow um, East Hill Pete, or Pete Fleming on YouTube. He's um, good videos, he does some good videos. He does good videos. He'll probably have a better view of it than, than what we had. He mm. will have a better view of it than what we had. If you want to see the goals, he usually gets the goals quite well. Yeah, he does get the goals. Really good footage. I recommend that you all subscribe. Peter Fleming on YouTube or East Hill Pete on Twitter. A um, lot better footage than, than what I can get. Yeah. I just I just get clips. He has yeah. really good, really good footage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Props to you, Pete. Um, so you don't think it was offside? You don't think it was a red card either? No, I do think it was offside. You do think it was offside, sorry? But I think it was My a tough... Um, to be fair to the uh, linesman, it was a tough call for me. Right, so you, do th you don't think it was a red card? Uh, no, but I think it was a very bad challenge, but a yellow. I don't think he proper snapped him from the back. I thought he, he went for the player with the ball and his other foot clipped this player from behind. And what I think got him the red is he just cleared off. He didn't help anyone. He caused a fight afterwards, arguing with one of the other players, and he just walked off. And so I think, and he was a bit gobby to the referee afterwards. I think that's why he got a red. See, now I love Joel. I think he's great. He's Joel, great. Joel Shortland's he great. He's great. However, I think it was a red. It was off the ball. It was a high challenge. It was both feet. Sorry, Joel. I do think it was a red. Um, can't, can't say about the offside. A good goal, no matter what, by Glass out. And you know, even if it was offside or not, it was a good goal. Yeah. Um, glad that um, Joe Dale got another goal. A good goal as well. Very good. Yeah. And Lawrence sure. McKay. I mean, that second half. Lawrence just dominated that second oh, half. He, was, he, was, he just battled and battled and battled. He was absolutely brilliant. I mean, yeah, got the ball. Great pass, header just misses the post, but he's done very well. Yeah, I think he was great. Very good. He battled for um, Tom battled. Corner's goal as well. Yeah, he really wanted. He end. really, really, really pushed everyone. Yeah. Um, however, I think man of the match. Um, I don't know who got man of the match. Man of the match, I thought was McCo. Thought he had a great game today. You know, he's been he's been yeah. playing really well uh, left back. I've uh, been playing centre back today. I honestly thought Mako was brilliant today. Yeah, what, what Definite, was that, definitely sorry? my man of the match. What number was that? He, he, was, he played number four today. Oh, yeah, good. Played instead of Tarburton. You see, yeah. Tarburton's a great player. Yeah. But I think Mako, definitely man of the match today, definitely. We, we definitely missed. I think it would have been a solid 2 0, 3 0 victory if we had Ben Leyland and Levi Tarburton in the back. Not, not, not to disrespect the defenders we had today because we won, so they, were, they clearly. No, I mean, Danny Hamilton played out of position. He still yeah, played well, I thought. He still played great. But with Ben and Levi, I'm just saying uh, it would have been maybe not better, but I just feel like the defence would have been stronger. We Again, not, nothing against the defenders we had today. They were very good, but. You see, I think we battled second half. First half, I think, was so poor. It was poor. I think... It was a really poor first got, half. Because we just kept going and going and going and nothing was coming out of it and then we were letting too many chances in. The goal we got, defence 
We've been going at them so much, they were, they were weak right at the end of the first half. Uh, good crossover from our number 11, sorry, I forgot the name. Taylor, Andy Taylor. I, I always forget the names. Um, and Joe Dale. You know, I mean, Forrester was solid as usual. He uh, mm. played really well. Yeah. I think the main problem in the first half is that people weren't shouting no. for the ball. No. I mean, Taylor was on the right and he won't get in the ball, but I didn't hear him shouting either. I didn't hear him shouting very loud. I mean, I've got really good hearing. He didn't shout very loud. Everything was on the left-hand side. So, I mean, he was in position. He was, he was open, was Taylor, but he won't get in the passes. And I think he won't get in the passes because he won't shout in. No. Uh, you know, he was there, and uh, you know, Emerton, you can always hear him, always hear him when he's on that right hand side. You know, he's just um, he's incessant with, with his shouting. He, everyone knows he wants the ball, and Loz shouts really loud when he wants the ball. So does Ben. You know, I'm not having to go at Andy Taylor, he's a good player, he's a really good player. When he's attacking, Most of our players are very good. When he's, we have got a really good squad. If we didn't have a good squad, we wouldn't be playing half as good as what we are. There are yeah. a great bunch of players, all of them. Yeah. All of them, great bunch of players, yeah. you know. And some players playing out of position, you know. You can't ask for more. I mean, we won two one. Three just points. Three, three points. points. It's just the first half was really flat. Did, did Hull City draw as well? I'm not, I'm not bothered about Hull City. Hull City were losing, and then they got. A goal I'm not bothered about Hull City. I'm not bothered that Campion won 10-0 oh, yeah. and Selby won and we, I think Winterton were oh, winning no, I don't think we wanted Selby to win No, we don't want Selby, Campion or Winterton Because if Selby lost and we won, we were third so if, if Selby won, then we're still fourth Yeah But at least we're not dropping from the top four so you can't No, we won't drop from the top four, that's good we're, we're Chalk Lane on Tuesday, I am I will be, I'll be missing He's out, he's busy on a Tuesday night um, um, and it's free admission to everyone if I'm sure that's what I heard the announcement that Chalk Lane's free admission so, so get your money. asses down here it'll be a Tuesday night it'll be cold I don't care get your asses down here support the team they really 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 need our support yeah. um, from what me, from me saying it was a it was a flat first half but yeah. I still support I still come and support I love them yeah. I love North Therapy it's just a team like I've never really felt like I have but I always get like a bit worried before a big game and I've only really felt that a few times I'm not saying that I'm not a huge supporter of Man City I do like Man City a lot but like when you actually can go to every game mm. and Hull City I've just completely lost hope in them a long time ago. I'm not I'm not even talking about Hull City uh, I'll tell you who I was impressed with today I'm very happy I, with I, I sit next to the commentary desk you know Milsey there and Milsey and uh, Jack Salt were commentating today and I thought they both did a great um, job you, you probably, really you probably, you probably didn't hear. Jack's not usually there though. milsey has been on his own for a few, yeah, for a few that's games. True. Um, and I was listening, and I thought you both did a great job today. Um, so everything, you know, I'm really happy that we got three points. It's just the first half was really flat. But you know, I, but I thought, I thought the ref played all right. I thought the landsman on our, I thought the landsman on our side was just, it was just there for an afternoon out and evening out. Yeah, you know. There was, I think, he had two big decisions to make, and I think they were both wrong. Yeah, he referee. And then laughing about it. Yeah. It's, it's just not. It's just not on. I don't think. The referee. Uh, well, that line on our side was was very quick to leave. The referee. <laughs> referee, referee. It was life of Ryan, wasn't it? Life of Ryan today. Yeah, three, three Ryan's. Yeah. But the referee was just. He was good, and then he wasn't for a little bit, and he made some very poor, shocking decisions, and then he was really good again. Well, out of the three, I think the referee was definitely the Ryan King. Oh, definitely. Definitely the Ryan King. I've just anyway. got that, and I'm very unhappy that you've made that one. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a dad, it's a dad joke. Oh, I, I do make my first share of dad jokes. Right, okay, so we'll be, I'll be here on Tuesday, we'll be doing the same thing. Come and see me, have interview, go, hmm, um, <laughs> or have a selfie. The, uh, I'll be here for the next home game, hopefully. Yeah, Brig. Next, next Saturday. Brig. No, no, two weeks today. Is it? Brig. All right. All right. See ya.